Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Samantha Polak. I am back with another video. No, I didn't dye my hair. This is a wig. This is a wig, y'all. This video is sponsored by Her Given Hair and I was so excited to try this wig. It's been a minute since I had long hair and also dark long hair. And I miss my long hair, but not the color. I'm so in love with my silver color right now. So the wig comes in a cute box and you got extra combs and extra elastic band and also you got an instruction book for more information. This is the proud of your coily unit. It comes with bangs. You got two combs on the side and one in the back for security. You got this elastic band and also adjustable straps in the back. First things first, we're gonna wash this hair. So I start with rinsing the hair with water. I use the Coco Wash Coconut Milk Conditioning Cleanser by On Jackies. This is like a co-wash and a cleanser in one because for this hair, I want to use something gentle. I don't want to strip the hair, so I'm using a co-wash or a conditioning cleanser. So I wash the hair and gently comb the hair with a white tooth comb. Now I rinse the wig with water and make sure that all the conditioner, co-wash, cleanser, whatever you use is removed. On to styling, this hair is probably 70% wet. You don't want to have it soaking wet but damped. I'm using the SIM twist defining cream because we're gonna twist this hair. I'm taking medium sections and as always I start applying the products at the ends and work my way up. I don't know how this brush is called, it's similar like the Demon brush but softer. I will leave all the details in the information box below. I twist the hair and at the ends I use a perm rod. Every time I use these perm rods, a lot of people asking me where you can purchase these. I don't know because these are the only perm rods we have in the Netherlands. I continue twisting all the hair and this hair is easy to twist but I'm so glad that this is a wig and not my weekly routine. I'm not used to twisting this much hair anymore. I let the wig dry on the hooded dryer and now I'm gonna cut the lace in the front where the bangs are and then I'm gonna secure the wig with the combs on the side and also in the back. I remove the perm rods and use a little bit of this Cara Care essential oil on the hair. And you want to separate the hair where it naturally wants to separate. On some areas the hair wasn't completely dry, especially on the ends. So I used the blow dryer to make sure that the hair was completely dry. Now that the hair is completely dry, I can use my hair pick for extra volume. Because I want this hair to be big. Do you see the difference? And that's all thanks to the hair pick. 
I continue using the hair pick and one thing I love to do is flip my hair to the front and then pick. And because the bangs are a little bit too long and I'm afraid to cut the bangs, I'm gonna use a bobby pin to shorten my bangs a little bit. Voila! Shape your bangs to your liking and that's it! It's so weird seeing myself with dark hair again. It's been a year since I did the big chop but I like this, it felt like the old days doing a hair tutorial with long hair. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Please check the information box for more details. Until the next time, bye!